Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Uh, today, just kind of want to keep it kind of short. So I got $50 an hour sitting over there. I'll show you that in a minute. If you could see these flags running down here, what I did is I, uh, I laid out my fence, all my posts, my wood posts and my T post. I laid all those out before I even got my equipment to to make uh, the holes and stuff like that. One, because I'm a lone ranger out here, and two, it just kind of makes things a lot easier. You know, you're not getting out every time uh, of your equipment and trying to measure stuff and figure it out. So first thing I did was just pull a string and figure out, you know, where I want it. And then I came through and measured and placed a uh, flag at each diff different spot. For example, the T-posts are about 15 feet apart. And I did contact the manufacturer of the fencing that I'm going to be using. And they said, uh, you could go 20 feet on your T-posts. And I'm doing an 8 foot tall um, deer fence. You could go 8 foot on your T-post and then every f after a 4 T-post add a wood post. So that's what I'm doing here. But yeah, so pulled the string, set the flags. So now, and then now that I got the equipment, I'll show you what I got going on over here. So what I've done is reset my string and then my flags run along the string they're not perfectly in line with the string but they do tell me where all my different increments are i use different flags for example the pink ones are um, t posts and the orange ones are wood posts so that's what's going on there i think it's time to get back to work Yeah, there you go. Mommy will never know. It's swimming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 